Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerlet.com, and this is a Texture Overlay Action Collection Preview and Tutorial. You can use this with either any textures you have at home already, or you can use it with any textures available on our website. I'm going to show you a quick example using one of our textures from our After the Storm collections. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is go to Apply Texture and press Play. Next, you'll select your texture that you wish to place. And now you want to size it so that it fits your picture. To do this without losing its proportions, either select this little link up here or hold down the shift key on your keyboard and drag it so that it fits over your image. I like to make sure it um, bleeds out a little bit just to make sure all the texture is on there properly. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard if you'd like a tighter fit. And press the check mark. Now it'll automatically set it at soft light for you. You can change it easily by just clicking any of these. You can also adjust the opacity as you wish. Now you can resize or rotate very simply, maybe like a different look with the texture. You can also change the texture, tone, and saturation. Or you can get rid of the color completely or just lower it. You can also adjust the lightness. You can also erase texture and tones or erase textures but keep the tones. Now it gets really dark like this just temporarily so you can see where the texture is that you'd like to erase. Make sure you have a soft at zero hardness brush that is black so that you can erase properly. If you make a mistake, you want to bring that back, use a soft white paintbrush to bring it back. You can also select the backslash key on your keyboard so you can see where you're working. Once you're finished, go ahead and select play again and it will return it back to normal but without the texture. Now she looks a little orange which is nice because you know it blends in with the texture more but it's a little too orange. So you can either go back up here to erase textures and tones and then just kind of erase more off of her or you can go to edit texture details. and you can select any of these number of options. You can select cool down and you can adjust the opacity of each layer as well. If you just want it on her and not the rest of your texture you can go ahead and select the soft black color and erase it. If you find it's not enough, you can also duplicate the layer by right clicking it and selecting duplicate and adjust that opacity as well. You can also add more color, warm up, add contrast, lighten the texture, darken, uh, sharpening and all sorts of things like that. You can see the before and after by selecting the texture itself since this is all clipped to it. Here's the before and here's the after. It only takes a few minutes. You can go ahead and flatten and you can add another texture if you'd like. So that's all there is to it in Photoshop. Now I'm going to really quick take you over to Photoshop Elements. This one is the 13th one. It works from 11 on up so it's pretty much the same thing. Again you're going to go to Apply Texture You can hold the shift key on your keyboard. And then select the green check mark. And it's the same exact thing here. You can do all the same things that you can in Photoshop. The brush palette is down here. 
uh, to check the hardness of your brush you can go to brush settings and then here's the hardness here you can go ahead and erase it off of her and then select play again here again you can change it you can adjust the opacity and you can also edit texture details you can make it cooler add warmth if you can't see what they're titled um, you can just hover over it and it'll tell you or you can pull it out more there you have it that's how you edit in Photoshop elements yeah, I hope that makes your texture editing a lot simpler and faster and more efficient thank you so much for watching